okay. We appear to be back with more heavy rain. We're Madison. I wonder if we're going to help Ethan again. She's simping for him hard. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves. She has to have an ulterior motive. Clear. We nail him as soon as he sets foot out. God, that looks incredible. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. Those water What's effects. Doing? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. I love the split screen. I wish they did it more often. It's such a neat effect. Of all the things to rip off, he ripped off Ang Lee's The Hulk. <laughs> the cops don't know me. I could just walk into the building without being noticed. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. I've got to warn Ethan. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. That's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around. I mean, it's pretty burnt out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? The solution. Go on my There's word. gotta be a so You can't get out that way. Oh. Well, that's quitter talk. He looks bad. What happened? Yeah, that's them. Still out there. We've gotta find another way. Okay. Give me another angle. There's this spot. Ah, here we go. <laughs> You could help, Ethan. Like, for the for fuck's sake. There's just a cop at the window looking in. I mean, that would be responsible. Do we really need all of them out of the way? This is bordering on little hope and pushing the little planks down. But there's a big box on the floor. The crate. I'd be able to pull him up if I. Oh. Eh. Gotta keep mashing. Boy, I love how they're just they're just chilling in the car. They're having a great time. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jade. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door. Hold your positions. It's a go. Yes. I don't know what happens if we get arrested. Probably bad things. Probably bad things. Get your ass up here. I'll never suspect we went this way. Hey, you don't move! I'll shoot! Come on! Quick! I can't. Hands in the air! Shit. Lieutenant. Shit. A man and a they woman spotted us. The we need to move while we still have a Shit. chance. It's that girl who went in. Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! The subway. What the hell am I doing? Helping a fugitive escape? I must be completely out of my mind. The subway entrance across the street. It's our hope. Jeez. Just have out of it. A dead weight. I won't be able to carry him for long. I can't give up now. There's still a chance we can get through this. We made it! 
I love how the prompt stays. <laughs> That's so cool. It's a good effect. It reminds me of uh, Dead Space. Oh god, the subway again, with people just bumping into each other. Yeah, he's bad with crowds, Madison. Aren't you glad you're helping him? All those women with buns. Some with glasses. All the men with little yellow hats. The crowd. They might lose us in the crowd. I'm so tired. I have to keep going. Oh god, they're twins. What? How do we... Gates? The platforms. It's the only way out. Let's go. Oh. Don't move! Oh shit. I guess I went the wrong way. Well, fuck me. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens now. <clears throat> okay. I, I walked up to the thing. It didn't let me through. Huh. Well... It won't let me pause. I suppose I could hold that forward. Ah, we'll see how it goes. Hmm. I mean, they don't have any evidence linking us to anything, other than our grievous injuries. <clears throat> hmm. I'm intrigued. I've never failed that before. See, there's always something new. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. Maybe I have failed it before, I don't know. It's running out. Oh, okay, no, no, no. This Help this does seem familiar. Tell me what you know. I'm sure you had your reasons for doing what you did. You didn't think you were doing any harm. You just wanted the pain to go away. I'll help explain all that to the judge. Oh, that's a load of shit. Don't let Sean die. Tell us what you know, and we can still save him. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! I don't think he's gonna say anything. Uh... You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. The only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. It doesn't make sense, Ethan. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. 
The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. I'm just gonna stand next to Blake for when I have to punch him. This is your last <clears throat> chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? <laughs> I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong end. If you beat him, his confession's worthless. Now throw oh. the case out. Come on, asshole. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Come on, come on then, pussy. Let's see what you got. Not gonna get away with this, Blake. Fuck! That asshole has gone too far this time. That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain Perry. Oh, I was gonna turn the camera back on. That bastard is gonna beat a confession out of Mars. He just wants a culprit, even if it's the wrong guy. Huh. I haven't done this before. Uh... Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Don't take the drugs, Norman. Don't do it, Jaden. This is a bad time to be doing this, frankly. If you could get your shit together, that'd be great. Hmm. Tragic. Jaden, I don't know if this is helping things. Your vodka, sir. Thank you, Gulliver. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. <coughs> I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Valid. Mars is not the Aragon. Well, when you killer. start with your kid. I'd stake my life on it. Why would you kill your own kid at all? Who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. <laughs> Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. 
I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Okay. Look at the clues. What else we got? Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Morris disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Okay. Good stuff. What do you got for me? Okay. Good stuff. Uh, what else can I do with it? I can analyze it. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Okay, now can I geoanalyze it? No, okay. I think I have to look at the car now. Okay, good stuff. What else? Uh, give me all my buttons back. Um... Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Huh. Huh. Okay, what else you got for me? Well, now it's over here. Our man, dangerous. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Well, there you go. We did it. Ludwig von... Oh, we got an achievement for doing the piano good. I wish I was better at music. I'm too cerebral. I can't just flow. Although I can do, like, spectacle fighters and things. I don't know. There never was a barman. You, you okay there, Jade? You look kind of rough. I should consult my superiors. Maybe... <sighs> no, that's stupid. I gotta handle this on my own. Do you, though? I gotta find some way to get Ethan Mars out of here. Even if there's only a one in a Did thousand Mars chance he's telling the truth, he may still be able to save his no, son. Not yet. He lost consciousness. My gut feeling we'll is that Mars is innocent, we'll get back and I gotta get him out of here. He must be tougher than I thought. He may be guilty. Not, crack. He's acting odd. His statements do. are all confused. And heck, in any case, he never said he wasn't the origami killer. Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be. Quite an event. Don't you want to wait till we actually got his confession? No point. I guess I can make got him dead to rights. Huh. That's all the press wants to know. Has I guess confessed? I could leave him. Not yet. I see. Leave us alone. I, uh, Lieutenant Blake said to please leave us alone. And turn the camera right. off. Wink. I'll be at the door if you need anything. I'm sure you will. And bless you. Have a good holiday. Christ. Are you alright, Ethan? He's having a bad week, Jaden. What do you want? <clears throat> oh, shit. 
We're doing one of those. I wasn't ready. I was repositioning. I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. Okay. I don't know what to do. Uh, do you have an idea? Gotta find some way to get rid of the guard if I want to free Mars. Shit! What am I doing? Helping us no, to escape? No, I don't... cost me my badge and earn me a ten-year stretch. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, there should be offices raincoats. raincoats all over the place. Gotta find one and give it to Mars. Yeah. What about the guard? First, get rid of the cuffs. I gotta find some way to get him through the police station undetected. Why can I look in these? That's weird. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hookers. Maybe I could let the hookers out? Uh, let's see. There should be officers' raincoats all over the place. Gotta find one and give it to Mars. The map. I gotta find some way to get him through the police station undetected. Hmm. Okay. Oh god, I'm stuck in a wall. Uh, food. Elevators. Maybe there's one in the uh, camera room. Or maybe I just need to pick one off someone's desk? That makes sense too. Ah! Is that one? That might be one. Nope. Damn. Oh, yeah. Well, let's check in the interrogation thing. Maybe I'm making things more difficult than they need to be. Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. Oh, yeah, it's just right there. Duh. No? Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Gee, thanks. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sensible, sensible. We are learning how to commit felonies. It's a Freddy security breach. We will need to commit multiple felonies in a single day. <laughs> okay, and then his desk. Where's his desk? Blake, your prick. Everybody hates you. There was the one empty... Oh, there's an empty desk there. Uh, no. There's an empty... No. Oh, there's an empty desk. Nope. Uh, there's an empty desk. Huh. Hey, where's his desk? Shit. Ooh, there's one. Jade, Norman Jaden was seen wandering around the cubicle area with a jacket in his hands, surreptitiously picking up everything that wasn't nailed down. Like a goddamn adventure game protagonist. Protagonist. Something to do with origami. No, that's not... <sighs> the most intuitive controls. It's alright. It's fine. There we go. I didn't even have to move. That's it. You're free. You're welcome. Here, put this on. 
They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. If you fuck it up, they're really gonna just it's beat the dog shit out don't of stop, you, though. Don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. Hey. Just say you're gonna save your son. I hope you don't regret that. <laughs> just staggering. Wise guy. Now we can get back to Ethan missions. See, I'm not sure if you can get away without getting caught or not. I thought you could. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. I think it just skips to this. The father of the kidnapped victim, Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. Why am I armed? The police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension. Just because I have a gun. I didn't even have it with me. Twinkies? I some food. Hell yeah. So you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. You followed me. I, oh, I thought to I was going to ask if she was followed. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Oh no, she says it wrong. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I don't think so, but also maybe. I... Sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. And they last I'm for hours. Completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? Because it's absurd. <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. If I shun it out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Okay, but you owe me ten bucks for the dry pasta and margarine. More tests. Hell yeah. No thoughts? Thoughts. The box. The I have box. to open another origami figure. 
I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. Why can't I look in the closet? I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. Err. What? What? Why is that an option? Well, thank God, at least I can bust a piss. Ah, oh, man, getting the shit kicked out of me. Sure makes you have to go. I wonder if there's an achievement for using the bathroom every time you can. I'm God, there has to be. This silly ass game. Love that the reflection reflected the words. I'm not 100 percent sure they were proper. They sure looked weird. There. Little shark. Yee, little shark. Er, I don't know what this one was. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver, kill him. Send a picture. Apparently, yes. Kind of fucked up though. Kill a guy, to make a guy kill a guy to prove you're a good father. Of course, the uh, origami killer is clearly a nutbag, so it's not like he has to make sense. His eyes just stare right through me. What are we doing now? Ah, shit. This is one of the hardest challenges in the game. <laughs> I have not successfully completed this. No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. Mm -hmm. No one in the store. Okay. Right. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hmm. Is there a little door? Oh, there he is. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. I like this guy. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. My age, time means nothing anymore. I I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, sounds like uh, Cummings. I'm a private investigator uh, now. Winnie the Pooh, uh, uh, Negaduck. She's a she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this Jim this Cummings, calls I think. for a celebration. I'm just a thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. <laughs> you do an old man a favor, hmm. Scott. Tell him to call back this afternoon. Yeah, sure. Why don't I? Why don't I do that? Hello. Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Okay. 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 Well. 
to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Hmm? Huh? This is a good one. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Those who don't know, we'll we'll get a we'll get a kick out of this. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Guy knows his shit. About it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. You keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us. That would be amazing. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. Nice. Good stuff. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Ah, it's good stuff. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's just take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Hello? Well, shit. Oh, my God. He's dead. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's bad. Poor old man. Scott? It's real bad back here, Lauren. I wouldn't... Yeah. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? What do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. Everything we touched since we came in. So what did we touch, gang? Okay. Well, stop touching that shit. Jesus, Lauren. Uh, well, I touched the old man. Okay, we touched the phone. Okay, wipe the phone. 
I'm sure that I have not succeeded at this, but I'm sure there's a way. Okay, is it gonna let me touch clean up Manfred? Lauren, fucking move. Quick, gotta find everything Lauren and Okay, touch I touched the phone in here. Lauren touched a couple counters. The magnifying glass and the glass and the front door. Don't forget the front door. Everyone forgets that one because the, like the obvious stuff. Don't forget to clean Lauren's prints too. Don't Lauren's been touching all kinds of shit. Uh, it was this one? Then so you'll waste time wiping down everything. But I only touched my glass, and then that. And the magnifying glass. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't drink out of that one. Okay, Lauren was touching the little ballet thing. Okay. Lauren was touching a counter over here. Uh... <laughs> That's why we didn't look at anything when we came in here. Oh god, did she touch anything else? Like, she's just been wandering around poking shit. Uh, okay, let me go check Manfred again. Uh, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Yeah, it's not going to let me do anything with him. I did the phone. I mean, I could do the other shot glass just to be safe. I think we're good. I don't know what else she may have touched. Just to be safe. Okay. Um, let's call it good. I know I didn't touch the bottle. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Let's see. It shows you what you missed. I got what I got. Should be enough to prevent them from fighting us. Come on, let's go. Although it would take time for them for to dust that entire store for prints. Come on. Hey, I think we made it. Nice. No way. I've never made it before. Partners, remember we had a deal. This isn't a game, Lord. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to me. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not gonna stop me. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! Lauren, Jesus. Why would you do that? Choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Lauren! I can't. once again in my arms. Don't caress her. I'm sorry. I should have 
shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Good stuff. Yeah, more Ethan time. Time to go kill a man. I mean, hell, I'd kill a guy for a Klondike bar. Put my kid on the line. I don't know, wait, wait, wait. Is he a scumbag? Like, is he like a paragon of society? the origami killer just have us doing his dirty laundry I never kidnapped your son he was safe all along like in Saw 2 you just had to look in the closet Yeah. I just what? wanted you to go kill a man for me oh, fuck. oh I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in He's a dealer. What a score, man. Nice. Hey. Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that one. Turned very the professional. Oh shit. You just gave me a prompt. You didn't tell me what it was for. Oh, he's a dad. Maybe he's a really bad dad. I'm supposed to fire blind? He's having a good time. How many kids' rooms are there in here? Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? Got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me. I got children. These my girls, see. This one, Sarah. Aww. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. Ah. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. Nah. <laughs> eh. I already fucked up once. I'm a father too. I'm no killer. I mean, pour some blood on him. Take a picture. It's the great thing about photo photos, they can lie. Aww. They'll come and hunt me down someday, like in Kill Bill. There's not too many more scenes left, I don't think. Oh yeah, Madison's got a hell of a road in store for her. We have quite a bit of Madison coming up. Mad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. Ah. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments. Including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. So, the guy that owns the apartment that Ethan just went to. Hey, Mad, be careful, okay? Or the, um. The apartment. Yeah. I'm not. Which was Marble Street? Marble Street was the lizard. 
Oh boy. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his fingers yeah. here. Oh. It's not much of a leap. Thanks, man. That's all I've got. I appreciate you. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Oh god, that sounds like a great idea, Madison. Why would how could that not work? Ah, oh, Jesus. He seems familiar too. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please come in. So, you're looking for betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pill, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Sure. Well, I mean, when you put it that way, why wouldn't I take a drink? I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Uh... I can't remember. My brain's fried with I'm all these pills. I'm, I'm so stoned, man. I felt Dave from night half the time. Uh. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Like near Marble Street. Is that vague enough? Shame. I was looking for oh. something around marbles. Maddie, no. You're not drinking? Yeah, sure I am. Oh, wait a second. I thought I hit no. Oh, my bad. Having some I must have got my buttons mixed up. Didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? Boy, that happened really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this, this took a turn. <laughs> oh, God. This Madison gets in herself into some fucking predicaments. Ah, say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the senses. Another one of those goddamn government spies. <sighs> so, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco. If you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Oh he my god! He fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. Wiggle! Wiggle, Maddie! But enough! I won't scream. Cat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I okay, I might scream. Here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't pull that against me. 
Watch out. This might sting him. Where are you going with that? Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Figured a blood curdling scream would help. Another man from the census. Oh, there we go. That's what I need, I forgot. I've come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles. I would gladly be with you. And we're going to on the five dollars. No thanks so much. Come now, bro. Nice. She's limber. I'll give her that. Ah! <laughs> he just chucked it at me. God, this is great. It's so stupid. Oh shit. Aw, oh, keep the hacksaw. Jesus! He's tenacious. Boy, she gets herself into some situations. Yay! Well, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I missed a quick time event or two, but I don't think I took any hits. <laughs> oh, these are great. So, Paco, Blue Lagoon. I'll just rummage through his place. And then we'll come back next time. I think that's a good place to stop for this moment. <laughs> the Queen of Ropes. Oh, what an achievement name. Oh, fraptious day. Uh... We have, oh, okay, and then now we're in a junkyard, I think. Yeah. I think we do the junkyard, nightclub, one more Ethan. We're about there, I think. Oh, yeah, there's some more with Shelby, too. Goodness. Anyway. They certainly cram a lot into this, but we'll be back in a moment, or next time, or something like that, and we'll see what else the game has in store for us. Until then!